the only type of content you need to be posting to build an online audience. I've seen a lot of people struggle with the topics and ideas they want to talk about in their videos. So let's dive in. People want to make a niched audience, but it's the wrong way to think about things. The internet is not going to naturally be niched. You're gonna to need to learn how to reach a broad audience and then niche your audience down through your messaging and longer form pieces of content. If your videos are too narrow and specific, not enough people are gonna understand them or relate to them or watch them. So you may feel that this brings in your target audience and you may feel like your niched content is bringing in that ideal prospect. But unfortunately, this will only result in your account getting zero reach. You won't have any audience at all. And if you don't have any audience at all, there's no point of having a niched community or a niched audience if there is no one in the first place. We need to be posting content that brings the views and eyeballs in first. If your content is getting less than a thousand views per video, you have a big content problem. No one is seeing your message. There's not enough attention. Your content will just be in the black hole of Instagram and no one's gonna know about it. So let me show you how you can avoid this. But first we have to take a step back and talk about the awareness levels of a consumer. These five awareness levels are pretty common in business, but if you're new to business, just think of this as someone interested in your topic or idea. Number one is the unaware. The consumer, which is consuming your video or product, is unaware of your existence, of your interests, of the topic. They've never heard of anything like this before, and it is your job to convince them on why it is important for their life. Number two is problem aware. So now that the consumer is aware that they want to dive into this topic more, that this solution or problem in their life is important and they want to essentially take the next step into learning a bit more. Number three is solution aware. Now that they've realized that they have a problem or they want to learn more about this interest, they are gonna start looking at different solutions. So if we were to take someone who is overweight, for example, they now are going to look into different solutions of how to fix their overweight problem. So they can work out at the gym, they can work out with a personal trainer, they can hire an online trainer, they can start eating better, they could go get plastic surgery and liposuction. They're weighing out all their solutions, but they don't really know what to do yet. Number four is offer aware. This is someone who is actually aware of people's offers. So they could go to the Good Life Fitness across the street, they could go to Jack the personal trainer, they could go to Craig the online personal trainer, or you could download the Allo Yoga app and work out at home. These are all offers of the potential solution of losing weight. And number five is the most aware. They are ready to make a decision and invest in themselves or invest their time into learning more about that topic or take action to lose weight. So this would be making that final decision. Maybe they need a bit of help making that final decision. So they would maybe get on a sales call with Jackie and then he signs up for the vegan meal plan that Jackie has. Uh, and this would be your offer aware. They've essentially made up their mind and want to continue with your education or service. The same thing applies for just general content creation as well. You need to convince people to watch your whole video. You need to convince people to transfer and follow you on all platforms, et cetera, et cetera. And if you do have an online business and you're a little more advanced, then you can offer your online solution for them. So I teach people how to create content. You can go to my Instagram account, you can go to my YouTube, you can read my newsletter, and then eventually you can buy my paid courses and paid community, which essentially teaches you how to create content from me directly. And within that, I'm gonna start nurturing my audience and teaching them along the way, all for free. You see, most people are unaware or problem aware. They don't know that they're interested in a topic. They don't know that they have a problem. They don't know what to do or how to fix it. You need to persuade people through good communication and content that what you're talking about is important to them. You could probably estimate that 85% of people are unaware or problem aware of your current topic or service. The remaining 5% is spread thin between the other awareness levels of advanced people in the topic. And you could probably consider 0.1% or 1% to be buying customers. So this brings me to my point that you need to create content for unaware people. If you're creating content for very specific people and the 5% that know of your product or know advanced topics about your niche, there's not a big enough community and audience for you to actually make content and enjoy the benefits of social media. So if you are too narrow, you are not gonna build a community, you're not gonna scale your business, and you will not grow an audience. You need to be growing at one to 3,000 followers per month minimum. If you do not grow 
grow at this rate, you have a problem in your content and you need to learn the skills to fix this problem. I personally right now am growing about 10,000 followers per month or about 300 followers per day. And this is when I'm chilling. Like this is like a normal day. I have a full support system and educational courses on how you can actually fix your content. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. I always appreciate real tangible examples when people teach me something. So let's break down a real example. So I'm going to break down my exact content funnel and strategy. Short form content would be top of funnel. I post short form content to get people interested in my ideas, topics, and interests. I would use good communication skills to make people engaged and excited to learn about how to create content. I even then go into teaching people the basics of content creation, how to film yourself for the first time, how to talk to the camera, basically all the basic good information that anybody can understand, all the beginners can understand. This content should be reaching hundreds of thousands of people. So this content is pretty broad. It is for beginners, people unaware of what I do or slightly aware of what I do. The second stage is your longer form content. You can post longer form content to your newsletter or YouTube and get people to consume five, 10, 15 minutes of content. You can collect emails through your link in bio from your short form content, and you can also promote your YouTube videos from your short form content. And now you have a bit more of a content flywheel. This is stage two. These videos can dive deeper into one specific topic. And this is also when you can start cultivating a bit more of a niche audience and community. If someone is gonna sit through a 10 minute video of me talking about a specific content system, then they're probably getting a little more serious. You can also start thinking about gender differences here and communication differences here. And at this stage in my longer form content, you can be a little more niched with your messaging so you can start attracting that you know, specific person, specific community that you want it. Stage number three for me personally is the free community or low ticket offer. This is where I can invite people into my free community, connect with them further, and actually have some discussions on a public forum. I have some now free courses and taste testers of my paid products. And essentially these are red hot leads, hopefully posting content or ready to learn more about content. This is more of a, a niched community as well. And if you had a low ticket offer, anything under a hundred dollars, then this is all also a good little community to have. So I also have my paid school community, which is pretty cheap right now. And it's just great to get people in the door and ready to make content. And then you have your final product and solution. Now that you've attracted a niche community, it's time to offer people that need your help the most. You've motivated them, you've motivated them to start their journey and now they're quite a ways along. They can really pick any solution or any project that they want, but because you are one of the first ones to actually introduce them to the ideas in the first place from your top of funnel, they're probably most likely going to pick you and want to learn from you. For my business personally, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and like a very intricate program. I can only accept like five clients. Uh, so it's pretty intimate and I just kind of work with people one-on-one. -on -one. But this can really be any high ticket offer you want, whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever your community would need the most. And this is also a very organic and selfless model and funnel to follow. Like I don't even run ads. I don't do anything. My whole entire goal is just to motivate people to start creating content. And when they run into problems along their journey, I have free offerings and paid offerings to help them. However fast they want to learn or however slow they want to learn, it's all here on the internet basically for free. And when you want to use my time and talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I can also be available for that. And you can do this in any industry or interest you have. Like whatever you have a specialization in, you can start doing this and motivate people to join you on your journey. It feels really damn good. So to sum up everything in my funnel, it's in four steps. One, I inspire and motivate the general population to start and share the same interests that I have. Number two, once they take action, they can start learning from my long form content. Number three, they can start building and learning through my free community or paid community. And number four, if they get stuck or want to work one on one with me, then they can also hire me for that. And just so you know, in the future, I probably won't even have one on one offerings anymore. It would just be a more premium product or course. This whole process and mindset is truly meaningful and very sincere. I was scared to dive into online business because of all the stigma and weird gurus you see online. But the reality is there's just always going to be a few bad apples that ruin it for everyone else. I don't run any paid ads, although I don't think paid ads are a bad thing. It just really proves that everyone is at their free will. People just watch my content because I'm good at what I do. And I want to teach other people how to make good content as well. And if you never want to pay me, you never have to. 
You can always consume my YouTube videos for free. You can join my free school community and you can send me a message. And if you're lucky enough, you can get a reply. Very quickly, if you're passionate about what you do, this will become your life purpose and mission. And the people that really believe in what you do can pay you. Only when you impact and support enough individuals, you will have that community and numbers to funnel down into your system. You want to nurture people along their whole journey and you'll be their first go-to option when they need more support. So if you have any skill that you've mastered over the years, and I mean any skill, content, entrepreneurship, copyright, sales, marketing, design, tennis, music, skiing, sports, fitness, spirituality, yoga, mindset, life changes, photography, literally whatever you have an expertise in because hopefully you've been learning something over the past five years and you specialize in something. Then you just make basic content to introduce people to those ideas and passions and share why you were passionate about it in the first place. You were once convinced and persuaded why this interest or skill was important to you and why you were interested in it. So you're going to just do the same to more people and allow people to start their journey. The amount of money you will make is determined by how many people you will help multiplied by how much you help someone. And it all starts with attracting an audience and generating noise online. So learn how to create good content and reach the people that need to hear your message. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video.